<laughs> two or three little boys running around. Well, there might have been three, actually, yeah. Any chance? No, I gave all, uh, not yet. <laughs> I see two. Me too. So this is an interesting film you chose. It's a true story. Uh, Dr. Kinsey, The Evolution of Sexuality for the Public Person, I guess. Yeah. Made it known. Um, your character, he's conservative in the beginning, and then he develops into this diehard researcher for the cause of sex. Mm -hmm. What kind of challenges did you find playing this person? Well, just to, to immerse myself in the man himself, which I was very ignorant of Kinsey. Yeah. Um, and the Kinsey reports until <clears throat> quite late in life. Um, so there was any amount of research to do on the man. There's various uh, uh, biographies I've been written about him, ranging from very, very poor to very slanderous to, to excellent. Um, the Kinsey Institute for Sex and Research, uh, Research and Sex and Gender and Reproduction in Indiana, they, uh, they were a big, huge help for me too, sending me various materials on Kinsey. And, um, so it was a it was a definite world. Uh, it's it's a, I'm a period film because it's set in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. You know. Do you think our society has a cycle with sexual revolution? It was conservative in the 50s, a little wild in the 60s and 70s, and now where do you think it stands? There's a definite cycle. That is for sure. Certainly since uh, the Victorian era, when Victoria died, the lid was lifted off. You know, it seemed, and that there are definite cycles throughout the last century. I, I believe now, since uh, since President Reagan was elected in 1980, we're, we're definitely now in a very conservative time, uh, where where the powers that be would like us to be back in the, the the Cold War days of the 50s, you know, where ignorance was sort of bliss. Interesting, and a lot of that plays into a lot of I don't know political topics, I guess, to keep it sure. on PC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, gay marriage issues and stuff like that. Um, your character is very uh, open to exper experimentation with uh, some of his research assistants. Can you explain a little bit about what the real life Kinsey was trying to accomplish, whether he was confused or he was just doing his research with his sexuality? I don't think he was confused. I think he was very confused and guilt laden mm -hmm. and uh, tortured actually as a young man growing up. Oh, by up. his father. Growing up in a very, very Methodist uh, household, uh, and um, I think he was determined when he got onto the, the path of sexual research that he, no young person would be made to feel the way he did, and so I, I and he was he discovered his own bisexuality. So he, and I think he used that as a springboard into research. Uh, and he's very open with his wife, Claire. He, he very, experiments, very and then he's like, well, she gets upset about this, and then she's like, well, you know, maybe I want to try this too. He's like, well, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, and their they, relationship they, was very strong. Can you talk about strong. that dynamic as well? They had, Working with they, Laura Linney. Well, Laura was wonderful, yeah. She's a, she's, a, she's a dear friend, and we've worked together twice before. So um, that was, a, that was a, a luxury to be with someone, especially some of the scenes we have, you know, which are... You know, we have sex scenes, we have some Do you think there was traumatic. enough sex in the film? It's this movie about sex, and it didn't seem like it was pornographic. You almost expect it to be almost a little risque, a little bit more risque than it was, but it was very conservatively done. Yeah, because it's, I mean, we, we, we didn't want to put in just any extraneous sex scenes, you know? Uh, that's not so what that the film was So that was a conscious effort when making know. the film? Well, I, yeah, that's one Bill would have to answer, Bill Condon, who wrote the script. You'd have to ask him that. I think there's enough. There's enough there. Um, but that being said, every scene is about sex. Conversation. When you think about it, you know. And then my last question, because I have time restraints. Um, how did your character get people to open up and tell them about their their experiences in this time when people weren't supposed to talk about sex? They weren't supposed to have sex until they got married. Yes, he had this. Technique. It's one of wonderful gift he apparently had. He was in a one-on-one -on -one situation. For someone who wrote some of these books that were quite cold and, and uh, dry and dusty and mathematical and scientific, he was a very, very caring individual. 
uh, to sit in a room, and these interview sessions lasted from three quarters of an hour at minimum to maybe three, three and a half hours. And he was able to get this extraordinary, delicate, sensitive information from people of every walk of life, male and female. And to a, the research I've done on, on people that did write about being interviewees, they said they just felt kind of magically charged when they left the room, that some weight was taken off their shoulders. Wow. And uh, so that was a gift. With, there's no film footage, of course, because everything was wrapped in confidentiality yeah. for the interviewees' sake, you know. But um, I would love to have been a fly on the wall in the room to, to, to hear him do his stuff, you know. Well, definitely. And we are out of time. <laughs>